Welcome to tonight's Saturday Night Special 35, where I talk with you about fear and shortages. I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in others, develop your influence, and impact the world by using your time, your talent, and your treasures to live out your calling. Having the ability to really find your gifts and calling is a key. And one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to this, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast by my friend Scott Mater. Think for yourself. Don't just lock yourself into the fear response that others are having, but instead step back. Take a moment, surround yourself with wise counsel. And out of that, instead of fear creating more fear and shortages creating more shortages, maybe some calmness can begin to spread instead. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In tonight's Saturday Night Special, I talk with you about why fear can create more fear. I share why having a shortage can create more shortages and why there's a loop between how fear creates shortages that then creates more fear and how you can break free from this kind of cycle. You know, one area that a lot of folks need some help with is around the area of productivity, getting not just more things done, but actually getting the right things done can be really, really tough. I've got a course called Productivity for Your Passion that's designed to help you do this and then to hold you accountable and walk with you so that you can tailor productivity, not just to be getting more done, but actually getting the right things done. What's more, we take the approach of looking at your personality and how you actually look at things in the world and tailor the productivity system to your personality. Because the truth is, a lot of the systems that are out there are written really well for somebody with a particular personality type. But if you have a different approach to things, they just don't work. But there's tools and techniques and approaches that you can take that will work for anyone. And we help you do that in productivity for your passion. Check it out over at inspiredstewardship.com slash launch. Fear is one of those weird emotions that when we start to feel it, it can actually feed back on itself and create more. And yes, it's possible to be afraid all by yourself, to be at home right now or or at another time and find things to be fearful of, either the sounds that you hear at the night or or worries about what's going on in your life or at a time like now where there's a, a pandemic going on, worrying about what's going on in the larger world and getting fearful of what the future holds. That's entirely possible. It's reasonable. It's, it's not even something that is unexpected. And you really can only fight fear by getting knowledge, by working through it, by understanding what it is that has you afraid and working on understanding what you can do and what positive actions you can take and then actually taking those actions. But fear creates more fear all by itself. What's worse is fear whenever it's put out into the public, whenever it's spread from person to person, it spreads as well and begins to breed upon itself just as surely as anything else, it can create hysteria relatively quickly whenever fear is spread from person to person. When people begin to react and not actually understand what's going on, but begin to spread stories, things that they've heard, a friend of a friend told them, 
they read something that caused them to understand something, and then they begin to react to that fear in ways that are public. That then creates the possibility of shortages. You know, I've been watching this situation and noticing how there are items that are being bought up in large numbers. And some of them make sense, like a mask to try to protect you from the spread of the virus or certain medications or maybe even vitamins and certain food items. But others don't necessarily make sense. What's weird is we're creating shortages out of a fear reaction. There are there are things that, quite frankly, have no risk of being run out anytime soon that we're buying in large amounts. I've seen meme after meme and post after post and concern after concern from family members and friends and others about how various items, whether it's toilet paper one day or gasoline the next, are at risk of running out. And then what's interesting is because of that, people go and buy up all of it. And then they look around and say, see, see, it ran out. Well, it did because we created a self-fulfilling prophecy. We created a shortage out of fear. And it's a feedback loop then because now their fear has been reinforced with something that seems like it proves that it was true, which creates more fear. And now it begins to spread even more and even faster from person to person, from friend to friend, until suddenly you look up and you recognize that hysteria has been created, that now the fear has become more than just fear. It's become panic. It's important in times like this that everything that you see, everything that you read, everything that you hear from a friend, that you stop, breathe for a minute, take a half a step back, give yourself some time and some space to process You know, at the time I'm recording this, there's all sorts of government assistance programs that are being rolled out various things that you can sign up for. And everyone's scrambling around trying to figure out, what am I going to do? How is this going to work? Do I qualify? How about my friend? Do they qualify? My mother, my my brother, do they qualify? And trying to get, trying to get answers. And that's reasonable. But what's interesting is a lot of the answers aren't known yet because the rules are still being written. The decisions are still being made. And yet people have to have information. And in the absence of information, people begin to fill that vacuum with made-up information, which ends up harming people and causing more panic and more fear. I've seen stories about, about who will and will not qualify for various aid. And I've gone back and looked at the bill myself and looked at various people that are are looking at it and trying to interpret it and recognize that it's too early to know a definitive answer. And that's part of the discomfort. That's what creates part of the fear and the run on things and the shortages is the fact that we don't know the answers yet. And not knowing the answers yet is almost scarier than than anything else because we want something that we can control. We want some level of certainty in our life. And when it feels like everything is uncertain and everything is chaotic, we'll create certainty where there was none by simply creating our own reality, making up our own truths. And then when those truths get proven out in the world, because we've created them, we look back and say, see, we were right. And we begin to react more and more out of fear. So take a breath, breathe for a minute, recognize the fact that there are things that we just don't know yet. Calm down. Fact check what you can fact check. Listen to sources that you can trust. Don't just depend upon Facebook and the memes that you see and what your neighbor says, but actually go to the authoritative sites. Read what's there. Think for yourself. Don't just lock yourself into the fear response that others are having, but instead step back Take a moment, surround yourself with wise counsel, and out of that, instead of fear creating more fear and shortages creating more shortages, 
maybe some calmness can begin to spread instead, and we can all get through this together. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you enjoyed this episode, please, please do us a favor. Go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash iTunes rate, all one word, iTunes rate. It'll take you through how to leave a rating and review and how to make sure you're subscribed to the podcast so that you can get every episode as it comes out in your feed. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures, develop your influence, and impact the world.